update show sponsored each week by Veterans Ford. This is our special spotlight feature when we're looking at some of the players, college players, entering the uh, National Football League. And uh, we picked one from Oklahoma State and one from Ole Miss. An Oklahoma State player is an interesting guy. Kevin Peterson, cornerback from uh, Oklahoma State, 5'11", 190 pounds. And the reason I picked him, John, guess who he's going to go in? Juan Treadwell. Treadwell. So, man, keep an eye on Kevin Peterson. He is not a guy that's a household name at this point, but he is going to get a lot of feature play because who he's going to go one up against. And he's a former high school running back, moved to the cornerback position, gradually gotten better, second team all Big 12. The thing I like about a guy like Kevin Peterson is every day in practice, look what he's got to do. He's guarding pro-type receivers, right. pro-type runs. I think Kevin Peterson right now, who most people are looking at fourth, fifth round, this game is huge for him because of who he's going up against. He's going up against the stud wideout in college football right now, Laquan Treadwell. If you don't hear Laquan's name said a lot, is because of Kevin Peterson. Well, the thing about Peterson, the fact that he's from a, a league that throws the football, and like you said, he's going week in and week out. They're going to throw 40, 50 passes, 60 passes a game against their defense, and he's going to get a good 15, 16, 17 attempts at his way. I would, I would project that. He's going to go play against a guy here in the SEC that's one of the dominating wide receivers who will go up and get the football. He's got the height advantage over Peterson, but Peterson has played good enough all year long that you can see him gradually work his way up the ladder in the draft because of this football game. Right. They'll see that, then he'll get the combines and whatever else he goes. But you know what's funny is Oklahoma State's always had some good DBs, Mike. Yep. And they put them in the pros, and you see them out there right now because they have to play against the caliber players they play in the Big 12, all that throwing, and then now they're going to go up against the SEC, which they got some teams in the SEC can throw. Chad Kelly and his offense will throw the football, so Peterson, be ready. The other thing, too, is he wanted to play running back. <laughs> and basically, Gundy told him, listen, I got a whole lot of running backs. What I don't have is cornerbacks. Now, he played cornerback in high school, but they kind of told him, yeah, hey, come on, Oklahoma State, you play running back. Uh, all of a sudden, he makes the move to cornerback, and it was the right choice for and, him. And not just the fact that is the, the, the lifetime expectancy of a running back is maybe four years. As the DB, maybe 10 years. So I think you made a good move, son. The other guy is Laramie Tunsil, uh, University of o uh, Ole Miss. And, uh, man, fought by the left tackle. He is at the highest level. 6'5", 305. I know he weighs more than that. That's that just one of them listings on, on the program. But I know he weighs more than 305. Three years started there at the left tackle position. John, Laramie Tunsil is one of those guys that tilts the field. You know, he reminds me of a young Willie Rofe. He's got mm. that size, his foot speed, his ability to pass block, run block real strong. And uh, Lenny Van Gelder was here, and you he asked about, you know, take quarterback out of the question. Who would be your top pick in this draft, 2016? Tunsil. Because Tennessee needs a, a They need protect, somebody to protect, protect Mariota. Mariota, and there's no doubt about it. And look, not just because I went to Ole Miss. I, you know, I watched him a few times. And I'll say this much, he should be the number one pick if you're looking at an offensive line. If you're going for an offensive line and you need one, you take this guy. He played this year minus playing and missing four or five games, six games, six, six games. Uh, the, the NCAA we kind of stuck it to him yeah, there. They rolled him. You know, that's what happens at Ole Miss when you drive around nice new cars. But uh, that's and what another story. With you? Why come they didn't, didn't sit you for that? Sit me you, down. Did, you did a better job. I got a better gear. know how to drive it. my – I don't talk about my vehicles. But my point is this, is you are so right. This guy is one dominating factor. He will line up against anybody, and he will dominate. He don't care because the SEC has got some studs on the defensive side of football. Mike, he's lined up against all of them and played well against all of them. Man, he has stoned a lot of them. Basically, yes, they come off the line of scrimmage. He's stoned them. The thing about, I love about him as an athlete is the fact that he, the first thing I look for is can he move his feet? Because you're talking about a guy who's over 300 pounds that way. A lot of times they kind of got cement, mm -hmm. you know, they're walking around it. He's got good foot movement skills, but it, he steers that defensive end all the way out to the edge. And if you watch Chad Kelly, he's not worried about that blind yeah. side at all. Laramie Tunsil, I'm telling you, if he's not the first pick in the draft, he'll be one of the top two or three picks in the draft. And what you talked about, he's went up against the creme of the creme mm -hmm. in the SEC and absolutely not played good. He's been a dominant football player. And watch when Ole Miss runs, where they run, left, left. behind Tunsil. That reminds you a lot of Willie Rofe when he was with the Saints. Protect the blind side. When the Saints ran, they ran left behind Willie. 
I don't blame you. If you got if you got a star offensive lineman, especially six five, three hundred and change, uh, you run behind him. Yeah, uh, just remember two words. I'm full. Sometimes I don't remember that either. <laughs> we'll be back with more of the John 4K Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Forward.